Nvidia's market cap just dropped half a trillion dollars yesterday. And then a bunch of other tech stocks followed it. It feels like the AI world just exploded. So what happened? By now you may have heard of a startup called DeepSeek. It's an AI lab based in China spun out of a hedge fund. On Christmas, they released this model called V3. And then last week they released this model called R1. R1 is supposedly as capable as OpenAI's O1, which is one of their best models that they only released a few months ago. The kicker is that DeepSeek might have created this for way cheaper. They allege that last training run only cost them $5 million. And it's been reported that it costs OpenAI $100 million to train GPT-4. Because they're based in China, they don't get the state-of-the-art chips because of sanctions. There's rumors they may have been evading sanctions, but for now, what they tell us is that no, they are using H800s and this is what they created with it. So if startups can do more with less, why would they buy more NVIDIA GPUs? That's what Wall Street is asking. But it's not that simple, and a lot of people are arguing about something called Jevons Paradox, which is this idea that if you make something more efficient, people are probably going to use more of it and not less of it. And that's what the Frontier AI Labs think. Well, if we're going to be more efficient with these, then we'll use even more and make even better models. The scale still applies. But it doesn't seem like Wall Street is too convinced by that argument for now. 